Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Saucy McBlueFest. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today we are doing a number, the 10th episode, I believe. The 10th episode of Have a Read With Me. Um, they knew the prophet. Hold on just one second while I put my glove on. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Than I have ever dreamed. 
just checking, checking the time there. It's all good. Um, accordingly, accordingly, the next time I saw the prophet uh, at his own house in Kirtland, he sat down at the one end of the table, and I sat next to him. He seemed to have changed considerably his appearance, and ever since I first saw him at Iram four and a half years before, he was since I first saw him in Iram four and a half years before, he was very ready in conversation, and ready and lost all that reserve and dividend, feeling that he seemed deaf before, and was free and easy to his conversation with me, making me feel perfectly at home in his presence. Uh, in fact, I felt as free with him as if we had been special friends. Oh, gross. For years. <laughs> I became perfectly acquainted with the prophet. I sat at his table frequently and many conversations, had many conversations with him. I listened to the teaching of the gospel and receive the truths uh, with an open heart. I was exceedingly anxious to know without a doubt that Joseph Smith was a true prophet. I heard the prophet discourse upon the grandest of subjects at time, uh, a name. At times, he was filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking much uh, with his voice as an archangel and filled with the power of God. His whole person a shone and his face was lightened until it appeared as the whiteness of the driven snow. Finally, I was convinced of the truth sufficiently to want to be baptized and to get a knowledge for myself of the testimony that Joseph had seen God. After my baptism, everything that I had thought about in a religion was changed. Every part of uh, my visit, my system, my visit system, my system of visit, Whatever, every part of my own, every part of my system, my father, that Jesus Christ is my elder brother, and that Joseph Smith is his prophet. The Improvement Era, 40, February 1937, pages 82 through 84. All right, um. That is going to do it for episode, sorry, either episode 10 or 11. I, I'm starting to, I'm not very good with my numbers, I'm, and I don't want to, uh, let's just say I don't want to um, get in the habit of fudging out my numbers too much. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See you all in the next one.